quick demonstration of the fuselage on the T-Rex. We take out the radio and we'll take out uh, a battery and we'll take out a tie wrap and the nut driver. This little nut driver is a two millimeter, I believe it is, uh, nut driver. And there's actually two canopy screws on each side of the canopy that hold the canopy on. Uh, the way I lock the wings on is with the foam, uh, a line foam wing holder. And what I've done is taken the wing holder and just run two screws into uh, two screws into each one of the sides of the foam and then I just use a tie wrap to hook that around the fuselage like that and what that does is hold the wings in place while it's in the case um, little nut driver these canopy screws actually came uh, with a raptor to put the windshield around the canopy but they're little tiny nut head screws and uh, those can be found probably at any hobby shop, but there's two screws on each side of the fuselage that hold that canopy on, and the canopy just slips on just like that. And as you can see, the canopy itself uh, is two, two pieces that have been glued together, and then the windshields have been glued from the inside using uh, clear canopy glue. Uh, my simulated uh, camera is just made from balsa wood and some sanding and a little bit of sculpting to make the balsa wood. Uh, also, this fuselage was ordered from uh, Darth uh, Dark, and this is an O30. Uh, I specified that I wanted thicker uh, material. He vacuum forms, uh, I think, O20 and uh, I asked for the thickest material he had, which is O30. I think the uh, T-Rex has enough power that it doesn't have much of an issue with uh, lifting this uh, fuselage. It's still quite light. Um, this fuselage is actually mounted in four places. And to start out, the um, fuselage is actually mounted uh, with a screw here, two screws on each side of the canopy. The canopy is in two halves. The top is actually glued together uh, before it's painted to make one piece. And then the bottom is actually kept open so that you can slip that over the uh, tail boom and you don't have to make any adjustments to the tail uh, pitch and your uh, servo and all that stuff is just mounted in there. If I wanted to remove this, I would take these two screws out and this third screw that's holding the bottom section closed and undo those screws. And then there's also uh, the canopy studs have been replaced with little square pieces of balsa and those square pieces of balsa have a screw running into them and that secures the canopy in four places and makes it very tight, very rigid uh, on the body. And what that does is make it, makes it real easy to manage. As you can see, everything else is pretty much normal. Uh, there's good access. Uh, Darth has designed this canopy quite well. And where he splits it uh, is really at a good place where you can get to just about everything you need to get to to make sure everything's working okay. Um, so the way I start my helicopter is I turn the radio on and I put it in the um, idle up which I have idle up set up so that it actually uh, has the um, power of the controller set to zero so that what you get is you have full radio control but the idle up is set so that the um, the battery does not allow the motor to have any RPM at all. And I set the battery into place and I use a red 
uh, Velcro wrap. I slip that wrap over like that. Push it through. And then I pull up on it very tightly. And then that's Velcroed in pretty, pretty tight. I then energize the helicopter and I wait for it to set. I watch the, for the tail heady hold will kick in and hold that um, gyro will kick in and heady hold and you can see that the, it's now working. So now the helicopter is armed. You can actually see that pitch works and not only does pitch work but so does the tail. It looks like I got a little binding going on there, which I need to. Uh, oh, I see what's causing that. Okay, that's just because of the way I have it set up right now. That's no problem. Just for demonstration, it was rubbing against the uh, uh, fuselage. So, anyway, what you do next is slip the canopy on. It goes on very easily. You have to kind of reach in both sides. And make sure that the canopy is under and that the top is over. That gives it settings on each side. And then you're now ready to set the screws for each side of the canopy. Alright, so you just run the screws in to each side like that. Say it goes together pretty quickly. That's done. And you say that the fuselage at that point is very secure in place. And you can hear the gyro working. And you should have left and right. Oh, okay. Yeah, unfortunately the, the tail has to, the tail push rod has to be on the outside. And so in order to do that, uh, what I did was put a hole in the back of the fuselage so that that tail rod rides actually on the outside. But it's working fine, as you can see. So, at this point, you're ready to fly. You got pitch, and then you got rudder, you got your ailerons, cyclic fore and aft. So everything looks good and it's ready to fly. So all you have to do is to flip the idle up switch uh, down, which is basically a safety. And uh, at that point, you're ready, ready to fly your helicopter. Um, once you're through flying, you can still reach in to the window and pull your Dean's connector apart, which will disarm the helicopter without taking it. The body apart and then turn the radio off. And you can, one flight, you're ready to store the helicopter back in the case. Work goes pretty quickly. And at that point, you're ready to put it back in the case if needed. Anyway, that's a demonstration of how the fuselage is mounted on the T Rex.